So Psalm sign say equals two. As you notice, your Z here is your theta. So remember our formula for sine say. e to the i theta minus e to the negative i theta over 2i. Now, your theta here is your say here. Just substitute values. So we have now e to the ij minus e to the negative ij all over 2i equals 2. You multiply both sides by 2i So we have now e to the ij minus e to the negative ij equals 4i. As you notice, this is negative ij. So you have now e to the ij minus 1 over e to the ij equals 4i. Then multiply again both sides by e to the ij. So what we have now? We have e to the ij now squared minus 1 equals 4i e to the I say. Then transpose this to the other side to have a quadratic equation. So we have a to the i j squared minus four i a to the i j minus one equals zero. So you are now in the form of quadratic equation which is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. In quadratic, we have x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a. That is our formula to get the value of x. So we have now, our x here is e to the ij. So we have what is our a here? Our a is 1. Our b is negative 4i. And our c is negative 1. So we have to substitute values. So we have now e to the ij now equals negative of negative 4i plus or minus the square root of the square of negative 4i minus 4. Our a is 1. 
and our C is negative 1 all over 2 times 1 what we have now <laughs> to simplify we have now 4i plus or minus the square root of this becomes now positive so 16i square plus 4 all over 2 or we have now 4i plus or minus the square root of you can factor out 4 so we have 4 i square plus 1 all over 2 so we have 4 i plus or minus the square root of 4 is 2 square root of 4 i square plus 1 all over 2 as you notice we have i square which is equal to negative 1 then we can cancel out this one. So we have here 2i plus or minus the square root of, this can be cancelled out, 4 times negative 1 plus 1. Or we have now 2i plus or minus the square root of neg negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3. So we have now, remember that the square root of 1 of negative 1 is I so we have now two I plus or minus this now becomes I square root of three. Factor out i, we have now i of 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. That is our e to the i z. Next. We have now e to the iz equals i times 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. If I, if I will apply now natural logarithm on both sides, I have now I say ln of e. On the other hand, we I have now ln of i plus the ln of 2 plus and minus the square root of z because they are in multiplication. You have to remember that ln of e 
equals 1. And ln of i is equals to pi over 2 i. Therefore, we have now i z equals pi over 2 i plus the natural logarithm of Two plus minus the square root of three. You have to consider that our z is equals to a plus b i. Now, in a right triangle, if this is our theta. This is our r, and this is r sine theta, and this is r cosine theta side. So, our polar form now is or trigonometric form we have say equals r times cosine theta plus i sine theta. And for our polar form we have r angle theta or the and for our exponential form we have r e to the i theta. So if this is our say, if I will take the natural logarithm of it, I have now ln of r plus ln of e to the i theta. So I have now here ln of r plus i theta ln of e. Or I, I, ln of e is 1. So I have now ln of r plus i theta. For my natural logarithm of z. So it follows that This one, the IZ equals pi over 2i plus natural logarithm of 2 plus minus the square root of 3. If I will divide both sides by i, I have now. Say equals pi over two times i divided by i or one. Kasi nag divide ka plus one over i. ln of 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. So I have now 
pi over 2 plus 1 over i. As you notice, you can conjugate i here. We have i divided by i. Then, natural logarithm of 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. I square is equals to negative 1. So we have pi over 2 minus I ln of 2 plus or minus the square root of 3. And this is now your final answer.